Hello, Collider fans. Well, it looks like Warner Brothers and Greg Berlanti have signed themselves a six-year deal. We're going to talk about that next. All right, Jeff Snyder, our intrepid head of news, breaking scoop guy. You are knee deep in the business of studios and everything that's happening here. Greg Berlanti and uh, Warner Brothers have come to a deal here. Six year deal worth about 300 million with the potential for more. Uh, he just recently broke the record for series, having 14 series uh, going at the same time. My God, how do you have that much time and still be a human being? I don't know, but you hear all this news and you hear this happening and this follows a trend with Shonda Rhimes uh, over at uh, Netflix. Uh, what's your thought process when you hear a, a new story like this? My thought process is $50 million a year. How do I get one of those jobs? <laughs> Honestly. Uh, <laughs> right and produce for 20 years, I guess. I've been a fan of Greg Berlanti long before he he touched the DC universe on, mm -hmm. on the small screen because he's a Dawson's Creek guy. Right. I was a Dawson's Creek guy. Uh, <laughs> I, I know you let laugh now, but it's not funny. I do. Um, so yes, he signed this $300 million deal. It's going to keep him you know, at his home. He's been there for since 2011. Right. Now he's there until 2024. So he's you know, a fixture on this lot. Like you said, uh, 14 shows on the air right now, probably yeah. more to come. Um, oh, yeah. This is the third like huge deal after mm -hmm. Shonda and after Ryan Murphy, right? You know who signed with uh, Netflix, right? So, are the is anybody really worth fifty million dollars a year? I mean, A list actors, you mm. know, who are the draws, presumably they aren't even making fifty million dollars a movie or, or right. a year for some of them. Like, what? Like, is this too high, Roca? Well, we're gonna venture out of the realm of TV and film for just a second. And Jeff and I, as massive basketball fans, we remember when they a glut of medium centers were getting paid way too much money for right. what they could do at that time because they was a need. I think this is a message. In no way do I think this is a middling center. Greg Berlanti is a Kareem Abdul Shaq in his prime type center, but they're doing this to secure him there at Warner Brothers because the Netflix, uh, you just mentioned, uh, Shonda Rhimes and That's, Ryan Murphy, they're going in and nitpicking these guys if, out. If you don't out. pay him, yeah. somebody else will. Exactly, like, and that's why they're paying you know, him that much. They, like, they have established that that is the, the value for mm -hmm. a, a major showrunner uh, and creator like like uh, Greg Berlanti is. You know, My question is, are, is he going to be spread too thin? Right. You know, he has 14 shows. Let's say he has 20 next year or in two years. Like, How can one guy sort of really contribute to 20 shows? Not to mention, he's got to have a, a movie career dangling exactly. in front of him. How can Warner Brothers proper executives, not like you know the movie studio, not mm -hmm. the TV studio, how can they not want to be in business with this guy, uh, especially after the critical acclaim of Love Simon? Right, and you've got all—I mean, you've got All American, Arrow, Black Lightning, Legends of Tomorrow, The Flash, Riverdale, Supergirl, Blind Spot, God Friend to Me, The Red Line, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina for Netflix, Doom Patrol, and Dizzying. Titans. Dizzying. This is just so much going on. He must have an incredible organization to be able to, to function all this. I mean, Ryan Seacrest produces 37 shows, so we don't know how he does it. So he must have a great setup there with his company to know who's in charge of what. He must have, these are hand-picked people that he has in charge of these shows, because obviously he can't be on set, on seven sets at the same time, and, or 14 sets at the same time. And on the movie side, these yeah, deals are the dry, well. drying up. Yeah. You know, like, right. uh, how, I wonder if this will sort of prompt the A-list movie producers to be like, well, where's my $50 million exactly. a year deal? And I, I'm bringing you X, Y, and Z. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be interesting what the uh, the repercussions are of this mm -hmm. kind of deal because this isn't Netflix. This is a traditional you know right. uh, uh, studio um, in a sense. It's 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 just to me it's a statement deal from uh, Kevin Sujihara. Uh, you know especially with the AT and T mm -hmm. merger uh, that that ruling is going to be coming in I think next week or I don't yeah know, it's coming in soon. Yeah yeah. So yeah. Uh, again the, a coup for Warner Brothers. Greg Berlanti is huge and obviously three hundred million dollars for him um, elevates him into another stratosphere. Yeah. We'll just see if it you know proves to be worth it. Yeah. Warner Brothers Television Group president and. Chief Content Officer Peter, Peter Roth, he said, we could not be more excited to extend our partnership with Greg Berlanti, a true giant in the television industry. Greg has been integral to our success since his return in 2011, and we look forward to continuing our collaboration with him and the entire Berlanti Productions team. So there's definitely more to come. The Deadline article talks about they're working on even more series. So we're not done with Greg Berlanti by a mile in, in, a, in a number of series on multiple networks, not I think just it mean, on Warner I think Brothers. it means more DC shows, too. 
you Pro, know, yeah, so absolutely. Yeah. Even even if this some of this uh, this current run come to a close, yes. you know, I, I don't know how close they are to nearing sort of their natural conclusion. Mm -hmm. how, is, is this Gotham's last year? No? Uh, well, Gotham's on Fox. All right, and, it's and a, different, right, it's a, a different deal. But Arrow okay, is still me. going strong. Flash is still going strong. Legends of Tomorrow is going strong. Black Lightning definitely is going yeah, strong. They're going to lean on him to create more of these DC series. So I think yeah. that's you know from a fan perspective, that's what you can look forward to. Yeah, that's exciting thing. What do you all hear when you hear this deal, Greg Berlanti? This much, six years, three hundred million dollars, possibly four hundred million dollars. Are you excited about this? Does make you this make you want to be a writer producer immediately? Uh, let us know in the comments section below. Remember to like and share this video on your social media, and subscribe to Collider for more news videos just like this. That's Jeff Snyder. I'm John Roca. We'll see you soon. Thank you.